Now that the banana connector is soldered onto the wire, I want to put some heat shrink over that. I like using heat shrink because it takes a little bit of the strain off of that joint where the wire meets the, the uh, banana connector. We use a optimally sized wire that's very strong, yet lightweight enough and flexible enough for portable operations like soda and field day. So we'll take the heat shrink, we'll put it over the wire and the connector, covering up the bottom quarter of an inch of the banana plug, but making sure that we leave the banana plug exposed so we don't uh, get in the way of the connector. Now we're going to use our heat gun to shrink that heat shrink around the banana connector. When we're done, we have a nice heat shrink wrapped around our banana connector and our link. When we make our link dipole, we'll use an S-clip and then have a mating connector on the other side coming from the other wire, which will clip on to here, and then the female banana socket will be here and we'll just plug right into that. The reason we do it this way is all the mechanical strain is taken by the wire, which is going through the ferrule. The electrical connection between the wire elements is being carried by the banana plugs and the banana sockets. There's no mechanical strain whatsoever on those connectors. We also use the exact same connectors when we're connecting to the feed point of our balance.